What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about the sinking ship that is Solo A Star Wars Story. So if you'll remember a few days ago when the Rotten Tomatoes uh, reviews dropped I did a live video talking about it and at the time the want to see was at 88%. That was how many people had decided they want to see it, which was still pretty low for a Star Wars movie. Typically, Star Wars movies are in the 98, 99%. Everyone wants to see a Star Wars movie, but not this one, because it's a movie that nobody wanted. So when we started out, we were at an 88%. Well, fast forward to today, and we are down to a 73% three percent want to see that is how many people have jumped off this train this sinking ship whatever you want to call it it is a disaster tickets are not selling everybody can go to their local cinema theater whatever you want to call it and you can look and you can see that nobody is buying these tickets and um, do I mean literally nobody no I just mean comparatively speaking to another Star Wars movie or a big movie in general like a Marvel movie or anything like that people aren't buying it this this is just fact at this point this is a fact I want I'm curious to know how people are going to spin this I, I'm dying to know the opening weekend numbers obviously it could change people could be waiting to the last second to buy but as we speak right now the enthusiasm is not there the anticipation is not there Disney tried to tell us it was breaking records for pre-sales they were manipulating some numbers or the narrative or however they wanted to present that because it simply wasn't true um, I've heard people say that basically because a lot of times uh, pre-sale tickets open way in advance and, and Disney waited until like right before uh, a few weeks before to, to launch this because they knew they would sell more up front like that just so they could spin that narrative. I don't know. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's what I've heard. Um, but if you want to look at something like Deadpool, Deadpool has a 99 want to see. Do you know why? Because that's a movie people want to see. Unlike this solo garbage, why was this movie greenlit? Give me one good explanation outside of the fact that Kathleen Kennedy simply wants to rewrite Star Wars history. That is what it feels like to me. Maybe I'm wrong. Doesn't matter. That's what I think. That's my opinion. And until I see evidence to say different, until she comes out and gives a legitimate reason why that's believable, that is what I will continue to believe. She wants to rewrite Star Wars history. She's not interested in growing the mythology, growing the universe. She's interested in rewriting the history of the universe to fit her narrative, to have her fingerprints all over it. Why else would you go back and give us a Han Solo movie that we didn't want? Can you explain that? She seems to think that the Star Wars brand is something that cannot be damaged, something that will survive any type of SJW agenda or whatever. And time will tell if she's right. All I can say is up to this point, it seems like she was probably right, considering every Star Wars movie under the Disney brand, every Star Wars movie that she's produced has cleared a billion dollars. But I would argue, and I think most logical thinking people would argue, that that was simply carried by the Star Wars brand. People like myself that went and saw The Force Awakens multiple times, which again, I did enjoy The Force Awakens massively, but when I started seeing a lot of these little things happening, Rogue One coming out, uh, then we had The Last Jedi that broke everything, that's just ruined everything, and it's not even The Last Jedi anymore. It's not even that movie. It's their response to the movie. It's how Lucasfilm has continued to treat the fans. And then we get this Han Solo movie that was announced, what, a year and a half ago that went through development hell. Um, just It just seems like after what they did with Luke, after what they did with Han and how they just wanted to usher in all these new characters to try to overshadow the original characters, which was never going to happen. Uh, it really just seems like now what they're doing is they're re trying to rewrite history. And if Solo is successful, then you can plan on the continuation of them rewriting history. If Solo is not successful, then you can un you can say, hey, we've sent a message loud and clear, Disney, and Bob Iger's gonna look at it, and the stockholders are gonna look at it, and they're gonna go, what the hell are you doing, Kathleen? How did you take the greatest IP in the history of the movie business, something that literally you didn't have to, you didn't have to recreate the will. 
All you had to do was continue the story and honor the story and honor the characters, much like Cobra Kai. But instead, you've put us in a massive hole now, leading into 2019, leading into the next Star Wars celebration, leading into Galaxy's Edge at Walt Disney World and Disneyland, leading into Episode 9, and we are trending down hard, big time. That's what I want to see. So... Man, it just feels like this movie is tanking so hard. I know it's not going to fail like miserably at the box office. It's still going to make money. There's no doubt about that. There's n it's a Star Wars movie, and the general audience is going to eat it up. Really what it comes down to is how many of the hardcores, how many of the faithful have they pissed off. There's definitely a significant portion, but the general audience massively outweighs the hardcore Star Wars fans. The people that are going to determine if this is successful are, it's hard to say, I mean, because like I said, the general audience is so massive, but if you look at Justice League, Justice League turned the hardcore fans off and it turned the general audience off, and that is why it ultimately failed. So I think Han Solo is no doubt going to make at least 500 million worldwide at the box office, not even a question. Now, I'm talking about over its entire box office run. I don't think that's even a question. Above that, that's where the question lies. Could it make a billion? I don't think it can at this point. Um, it is a Star Wars movie, so I guess it technically can because the Star Wars brand is the biggest, most well-known brand in the entire world. But I don't think it can make a billion. Uh, and I think right now, the number we need to be shooting for, to be watching for, for worldwide, again, manage your expectations. It's going to make money. You have to understand that out, out front. It will make money. So how much money will it make? I'm thinking if it makes around 650 to 700, I think that's going to be considered a major disappointment from a studio standpoint, from a financial standpoint. Now, I don't know the budget. But I just know that this is a Star Wars movie, and I'm pretty sure one billion is pretty much the number they always have in mind for a Star Wars movie. But that doesn't make it profitable. It's going to be profitable after probably 600 million. But I'm 650, 700 worldwide is where I'm shooting for. For if this movie ends up around there, and the the audience score is awful, if the critic score continues to go down, which it does, it's at 70%. Last I checked, 70% critics, 68% top critics. So the trends are heading in the right direction at this point. So we will continue to monitor it. We'll continue to watch it. It's fascinating. It's uh, This is a very important movie for Star Wars, for the future of Star Wars. Um, either a message, a message is going to be sent one way or the other. A message is going to be sent that either we're fed up with you, Lucasfilm, and your garbage, and your SJW agenda-driven storytelling, and your political narrative, or a message is going to be sent that it doesn't really matter what we think. Star Wars has is no longer for us, meaning the hardcores, meaning the people that love it for what it is and are not trying to turn it into something that it's not. Uh, a message will be sent one way or the other with Solo. So, oh man. Anyway, a couple things. I want you guys to check out our Patreon account. We're working on revamping our Patreon account. Um, that is Patreon slash GeeksAndGamers.com. We have the Forces uh, Gender Neutral shirt. If you really want to send a message to Kathleen Kennedy, buy that shirt. Let's wear it at Star Wars Celebration next year. I will be at Star Wars Celebration next year. Also, we're gonna re we're gonna roll out a few other Star Wars shirts too that I'm uh, we're developing right now. And then check out my personal channel, D Day Cobra. That's D D A Y C O B R A. If you want to see me vlogging and just bullshitting and just driving around town and just turning the camera on and talking, that's what you'll find over there. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you later.